put y'all in the bed. I do not represent y'all. Y'all represent yourself. I am not your motherfucking representation. And then y'all be trying to make me feel like I got to change for y'all. Who is y'all? Y'all Why? already looked the fuck a mess. Y'all already was a mess. Don't no, stop blaming me for y'all being looking look or looking bad. Y'all been looking baby bad. bad. Y'all been looking bad. Your baby daddy's been making y'all looking bad. Y'all all been looking bad. Your husband's been making y'all look bad. All y'all been looking bad already. Listen, that's Suki Hana saying you are responsible for your own life. Stop trying to make Suki Hana and Sexy Red and anybody else that's not what you would do. Your representation. You are responsible for your own life. I have never thought Suki was more right in her life. And Blake's statements don't apply to everybody. I don't even have a baby dad. I've never been pregnant. So, yeah. Period. Do you be you? God loves you. Like, share, comment below. Aha! Follow the page. You're responsible for your own happiness and your own life. Y'all, we got to get to the story about Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty. Because it's currently breaking right now, and everybody's thoroughly confused as to what's going on between him and Offset. So might tell Offset, because Offset DM me. He DM me. Cool, cool. We go, he off the set. That whole game is something. Now, in that live stream captured, the first gentleman, who I have no idea who he is, stated that Offset has sent him a DM. He didn't say what the DM was about, simply that Offset had DM'd him. Now, that friend so happened to be friends with Kenneth Petty, and it looked like that they were outside of Offset's hotel or something like that, waiting for him to come outside. Now, Live Biz right here on Instagram has the full live stream, and you can check it out because I'm not going to be able to post the full thing here, but I do want to share this clip. That's them? Now the whole situation is crazy and I have no idea what's going on, what the DM said and why. And I've been tracking Offset's Instagram and his Twitter to see if he's going to respond. I'm also tracking Nicki Minaj and Cardi B's Twitter and Instagram to see if they're going to say anything. Because at this point, the drama has spilled over to the husbands. Y'all know what happens when men get involved. It just gets even messier. But when there's more updates, I'm going to keep you guys posted, okay? Because it just broke now, so we might be talking about this for the rest of the day. Okay, so I went back on Twitter so I could try to track down the story of how all of this began. Now, the guy who said that Offset had DM'd him goes by the name on Instagram of only the sturdy underscore. He had posted a video and in the caption he said, ask Cardi B why she mad big queens in the building. We just different on this side. Then he posted this caption and it said, um, one response to any and everyone eaten in the comments, he said, you just pause to read it because it's all slang, okay? Now people on the internet are taking this as a threat. And because they're taking this as a threat, they, they try to associate when this was posted to this tweet that Cardi B had put out. Now she had tweeted a couple of days ago, I ain't even flinch. And so now that this story has broke, people are trying to make this whole thing come full circle. Now, other people are stating that the DMs had been leaked as to what Offset had said to that guy, um, Sturdy, whatever his name is, but those DMs, I don't believe they're real and I have not been able to find them. So I'll keep you guys posted on anything else that I find, but I think this is how all of that had started. Well, it looks like Offset has spoken. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Nicki Minaj's husband, as well as a bunch of his other friends, were antagonizing and acting like some goonie goons outside of Offset's hotel. Now, let's see what Offset had to say. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm getting out of jet, you know what I mean? What are you thinking to What are you thinking to about? Oh. We up in our jets, bitch. Y'all didn't get there. Y'all didn't get there outside. Now, Offset from North Atlanta, so let me just translate what he said. He said, we're stepping off jets, and then he stated that they some brokies, implying that Nicki Minaj's husband and his friends are broke. Now, I'll assume that Offset had been traveling, so he probably had no concept of what was going on outside his hotel with Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty, or Kenneth Petty's little goony goon friends. So it kind of makes sense that he's literally walking off a jet like, what is going on? You know what I mean? But he's implying they some brokies and he's saying he ain't got time today. Now, let's see if Kenneth Petty replies because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let this story ride.
Hi, how are you guys? Welcome to Melee Got Some Tea. Welcome to Melee Got Some Tea. I hope you guys are having a good day. Get your drinks, get your wine, get your bottles. Get whatever you got going on because Melee Got Some Tea for you. I'm ready to give my commentary, my opinion, how I feel about this situation and what was going on to this rabbit hole. I'm sorry guys, I have been posting lately. It's a lot that been going on, but you know it is what it is. I have to get my shit together and do have to do. Post what I post when I feel like it, but at the same time, I do have to be consistent in this channel to keep my channel to keep on growing, okay? So, this one thing that's some things that I need to work on. So, you guys, I'm gonna let you guys know what's going on. I'm gonna give you my two cents in this, okay? So, basically, um, I hope you guys have watched the VMAs, the 2023 VMAs, and you know, we have watched Nicki Minaj, Taylor Swift got her award, Nicki Minaj got her award, especially I Spice, you know, it was a lot of big moments, you know, people, you know. You know, that was meant to be given to. They, you know, they worked their ass off to get where they wanted to be. And I was very happy to whoever had got the award. They deserved it. Even though we had seen Nicki Minaj in that stage one or two. You know, since she was the host, we only saw one or two times and that was it. So, basically, yes, it was an amazing day, Um, you know, for the award this year. And I hope you guys had an amazing day and you watched it. You got your favorite artists that you wish, you know, that have got the awards. Uh, some of the celebrity that didn't get the award probably next year they will get it. We do not know because this industry be weird as fuck sometimes. So it is what it is. So today we're going to talk about Sukiyana. You know, about the situation that was going on in the VMAs. You know, she was dressing up, you know, bending over on the floor and stuff like that. You know, uh, acting herself like a wretched old mess and stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Um... I'm going to give my opinion. I see a lot of people giving their opinion. They're saying that, oh, uh, you know, Shukiana is not responsible for representation. Yes, I do understand that but to an extent. Yes, I do understand that. We are all we are responsible for our own representation. I do understand that to an extent. Yes. But at the same time, you need to understand um, when you're in this type of circles, people are going to view a Pacific Crest a different type of way. You get what I'm saying? Like, sweetheart, you on the VMAs. I understand the kind of quality you are. You're ratchet. You are you're very hypersexual. That is you. I definitely understand that to this uh, um turn of level of extent. I understand that. But that's a position that you put yourself into because people need to see you. Uh, you are a good performer. Because, like, I, like for example, I'm in a VMA list. I'm a manager, whatever it is. I want to see people I want to bring back into the stage that next year that I want them to perform next year that can give me a lot of attention and suki is not given that you're not professional you can still be a sexy person very hyposexual and still be professional at some point yes yeah, she's not representation of uh you know you know of us you're not responsible for representation but it does give a good look for black women as well because when they look at us they want to feel like oh they're um they're more mature they know when to be mature when to not you know when to act goofy so it feels like a lot of people not putting their sense to this. Yes, Sukiana is not responsible for you know for um for our representation. I understand that, but she kind of is for a lot of women out there, especially women who's gonna come, who's gonna be just like her, who's not you know too raunchy. They know when to do it, when not to do it. So when they look at other women who probably act like her, they're gonna feel like you're not good to come back next year. Or even perform next year. Matter of fact, even come to the red carpet with us next year. That's the type of attention it looks like. And it doesn't look good. I understand what people are saying. But you need to understand this in a deeper, deeper, different level. We already have been looked at a little differently. Aggressive. You know, we don't listen. We're loud. You know, we angry all the time. You get what I'm saying? That's the type of stuff that, that have been put out there as a black community especially black women in this community yes i understand that in a in a point of view but you also need to understand that in a different uh, you know aspect because you are a performer you're an artist correct you're a rapper you rap you sing the thing about you you want people everywhere that you go you want to perform in this different level whether the vmas the bt award whatever it is you want to come back what is so important about you you want people to make you come back and perform some of these people are not performing in is big you know public you know places you know whether they mostly known on the bt one the uh the uh the um 
the Emmy Award or the, uh, the uh, MVP Award, you cannot perform there. Sometimes it's that how you react yourself. It's how you co- how you compose yourself. How do you do yourself? How you react? How how professional are you? You know, are you just you know you don't give a fuck? You just very irresponsible. Don't give a fuck where you are. You just act a silly, act a fool around people. You know, are we are gonna be invested to bring you to our show? And you know, are are you good for ratings? That's one thing about it. Are you good? Are you performing? Are you responsible? That's why, you see, with Nicki Minaj, people were scared to bring Nicki Minaj on the stage. When she went on the stage and said that, oh, you know, they was afraid to, like, you know, put me, you know, make me uh, the host of that day. And, you know, I can understand because, you know, this is Nicki Minaj. You don't know what would come out of her mouth. You know, that's why she, she couldn't come back the next year. Why? Because she couldn't get an award, Emmy Award. You know, and she's very talented. She deserves all the praise that she's getting. But let's be completely honest, you guys. You're not putting your two cents in it. It's how you react. Look, they were afraid to put her on that damn stage. Like, what was going to happen? That's the same goal for every artist as well. Your response to anything, how you compose yourself, it reflects on everybody. Even white folks. Even white folks. Every time they see a white person because of this one white person did it, they're going to think every white person is the same. If they see a black person do it, have you never seen go to China or other countries when they see a black person, they think they're hypersexual or they're loud or they're disrespectful? That's how they will view you. It doesn't matter. That's how they're going to see you as this type of person. So you do have to be very careful how you compose yourself at every time. You need to put yourself, you know, a responsible way to compose yourself. You are a grown-ass woman. Don't act childish. Get your ass up. You in this dirty-ass floor, people walk and put their nasty foot on the floor, or they're stepping on shit or not, and you walking on in there, your, your ass is just up and down, you're on the floor. No, get up. Get up, girl. And the dress that you had was very, 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 very much beautiful. You, you can tell people, I can still be elegant and be raunchy. You can still be elegant in a different way. I can still, when I go to places, I still know how to act respectfully. But in different places where it's my stuff, you, there's a place you can, you know, you can act raunchy at it. It's a time and place for everything. And I know that your parents teach you that. I understand what y'all saying. We are on representation. I understand that. Yes, it's true. But at the same time, we as community, they view, they already view us as black women. Already, we're already ghetto, ratchet. We can't even act up correctly. Look how they did Nicki Minaj. They could even, you know, uh, they were scared to even put her as the wholesome state because they think she's going to say something. Because guess what? People that she don't like is there. Cardi B's there. Um, what else is there? Selena Gomez is there. What else? Uh, uh, Megan Thee Stalin is there. These are her two apsies. Like, literally, they have beef with it. They don't even like each other. So that's why they were very hesitant to put her on that goddamn state. I don't know how she's going to react since that incident that happened with Miley Cyrus. Some of you are not even thinking about how the fuck people are going to view it as. Not everybody, not everybody is capable of anything. Is it representation? They were very scared of putting her up there. So it goes for everybody. It was very tough to put her up there as the host. But they had, they gave it in. So yes, it is very important. Representation is important for everybody. Especially people who, who in Sukiyana field. Who are raunch, who are ratchet, who are... You know, have these type of stuff that's going on with themselves. Who have the same, you know, morals, the same things as Suki. But at the same time, there's you. You, you gotta keep yourself respectful. You have more, and you have keep your give. Like, come on, there's time and place for everything. And then people have to like she start dragging people. People have to delete. No, bitch, stand what the fuck you said. I still say what the fuck I said. Why do we have to dumb down? Because what the fuck we have to say? We have an opinion. We all have an opinion. Jeez, me too. You know, people see me rocking raunchy and stuff like that. They have the opinion. They have a right to speak about it because I, I'm the one that posts that shit. You the one that posts it online. You damn right I'm going to have to critique about it and give my opinion two cents on it. You don't have to delete that shit. I forgot this artist's name. You know, she had posted something and she deleted it because she got dragged and now she want to be all, oh, we all woman equality. Fuck that shit, bitch. She looked a hot goddamn mess. To get up that goddamn nasty ass floor, girl. Hell wrong with you. Get your ass up. 
She looked a mess. The dress that she had on was perfectly fine. Get up, good, get, give some nice pose. You need to show people I can still be classy. You know, even what I, you know, even what the fuck I do, I can still be a classy bitch at the end of the day. But you're not showing people that. You're showing people that you are, you know, hard to fucking work with to even bring back. You are a mess. I don't care. You're a representation for everybody. Yes, we represent for ourselves, but at the same time, you do have to give people who act like you, who in the same field as you, who's very, you know, who write about very sexual stuff like that, need to teach people like, I can still write about shit like this, but I can still be classy at the same time. You get what I'm saying? There's a time and place for every fucking thing. A lot of people not even putting that sense and mind to it to understand or comprehend what the fuck what I, that people are saying. We understand, but like I said, you post that shit, we have our opinion to speak about that shit. I never understand people who feel like, oh, if you don't like it, you don't have to comment. Bitch, you post it. I'm going to comment. For everybody, I'm giving my commentary, my opinion, like everybody it is. Everybody can kiss your ass and love your shit, and I'm going to get my two cents in it. I don't have to kiss your ass. I hate this shit. Get your ass out. The hell? Nobody has to like your shit. I'm tired of people like they can't give a single commentary or opinion on people until people like you know don't like some shit. They want to talk bad and post something like, oh, fuck you, you broke. Y'all know what the fuck y'all talking about. Bitch, you're broke. Because you can't take a simple comment. You are a, a, you are a very sensitive ass bitch. I hate people who feel like they're all boss and shit, but when people post up, they talk about their opinion about the fuck they did. Now they want to be a bitch about it and be like, oh, who fuck you, this, this, and that. Girl, what the hell? This is social media. Everybody give their opinion. It's free speech, bitch. The hell? Y'all need to calm down. I never understand either, neither one of you artists who does that. Y'all love, y'all love doing, y'all love to do that. You post something. We have your opinion to speak about it. We like your dress. If we don't like it, we're going to be like, we don't like it. Before y'all keep saying that, oh, if you don't like it, you can scroll. No, bitch. I'm going to keep, and I watched it. It was on my youth page. I saw it. I witnessed it. So I'm going to comment about it. So I'd be like, oh, if you're a problem, just scroll. No, it was on my youth page. So I'm going to give my little comment two cents on it. This is what I call opinion. If I'm not bothered, if I'm not being disrespectful to you or saying any raunchy shit about you, I say, you're cute. I don't like your dress. Now you're already like, oh, well, look at you. Oh, bitch, what the fuck got to be? I don't like your dress. The hell? I don't have to like everything that you do. I mean, it's like I don't have to like any song that you do. I can like some songs, but not all songs. A lot of people losing focus of free speech. Y'all can't take criticism. Y'all just gotta be like, you so fucking, you know, coddled. You wanna, you, you don't wanna, you don't have a defense mechanism. Ma'am, sit down. And that goes for every single artist, whoever you are, even regular people. That goes for everybody. Everybody have the right to say their opinion, how they feel. If they're not being disrespectful, out of line, out of pocket, they can still give their commentary and opinion about how the situation had went by, by the view of that, you know, that video or photo. I never understand that. We can have a similar opinion. Look, like, seriously, I remember a year back ago, um, I was giving my, I was like, you know, I, that's when I was not doing YouTube channel, and it was on Nicki Minaj, uh, Beyonce post, Beyonce post, correct? And I went to the thing, you know, I hear people saying, you know, she doing Luminati, Luminati, and I said very respectfully, you know, I heard that she does Luminati, but she's a very beautiful young woman, I don't know what they were talking about. Tell me how the hell this stupid bitch came in my damn comment say that, you know, you stupid, you don't know what you're talking about. Ma'am, did you not read my comment? I said, people! told me she was doing that i do not know 100 percent sure but she's a very talented young lady i said well damn we know how longer have an opinion now we can't be respectful on our opinion we all have to be called bitches and everything ma'am i never understand that y'all out of control with that stuff calm down you are all over here for a person who don't even fucking know you don't even give you a fresh or best air Whatever fucking happened to you, they won't even know. I won't give a damn. You so whole high about an artist. I have an opinion. This is what I heard, and I gave my two cents, and I said, hey, she's a very beautiful young lady. She worked really hard. I don't know. But here you come in my goddamn comment saying, bitch, and this and that. Well, damn. We no longer have free speech no more because people are trying to take that shit away from us. I know the gov people are trying to take that shit from us, but y'all regular people are doing the same exact same thing.
Yeah, that's what I want to talk about, Sukiyana. The situation about the Sukiyana situation. I wanted to give my two cents in it. And that's all I wanted to tell about that Sukiyana situation. Now we're going to go to the next talker about, you know. Mm. Yeah, like I said, um, we're going to talk about Kenneth, you know, the petty. And the offset situation and the Cardi B and trauma, the thing that shit that been going on. And I'm going to give you guys my opinion and everything about this. I'm gonna give my color, my little commentary. Kenneth Petty and his, you know, little bitches, posses, whatever it is, you know, was by allegedly by takeoff, you know, where hot, you know, where takeoff, where the hotel would take off, you know, off the not not take off, offset was that. I'm so sorry I said take off. You know, we miss this man. Rest in peace. Offset was that. So, um, there was something that went to the comment that really didn't perk up my ears. And they, they were just talking about, you know, an you know, offset. And I didn't know why. So, a lot, so when I was reading to the video and they were like talking shit, realized one of the dude, you know, you know, offset had... DM them, you know, Offset have reputation of DM people, you know, and stuff like that. And then always being a push and hide his hands and act like he didn't do shit. And I do believe them. Like, you know, you text them. But let's be honest. These men be antagonizing, you know, Cardi B and say something about her. So, you know, as a husband, you know, you seeing this shit, and, you know, you wanted to protect your wife and just, you know, go to the DM and, and talk about it. And and this where all it all started. I'm gonna give you guys, you know, receipt and everything, so you guys can give a better picture of what I'm talking about. That's gonna be the beginning of the video. So this all happened and stuff like that. And you know, they're saying things, they're saying things back, you know, this and that. I understand what people are saying, and I'm gonna talk about that, about Kenneth Petty. Kenneth, you already have a history that's going on. You know, you have a history, sir. You know, as a man who have a background, a lot of things that's going on, I really appreciate if you really shut the F up. Because I understand Offset, ha uh, um, Offset have... You know, texted one of them. And I do believe them. He texted one of them. And they did bring some receipt. Like, you know, there's receipt that was brought up. They're talking. But I'm talking about Kenneth Petty right now. Dude. And not just that. You're not just sending threats. You know? And I'm not sugarcoated like officer don't send no threats too. He sent threats too. But, sir, I'm talking about you because the thing about it is that, like, you are married to an you know, a, a star, an icon, like literally Nicki Minaj. And you out here threaten people like you don't have, you know, like you're not going to lose something out of this. Literally, your address is everywhere. Uh, perhaps that you pop the F down. You making people look bad. Like I said again, Nicki, come get your man. But you know, you're not going to get your man because you're antagonizing his ass to the exact same shit. Look at you. Antagonizing with the same bullshit that you doing. A lot of people want to talk about that. There's things that Nicki Minaj do. Nicki Minaj can be petty as fuck. Nicki Minaj sends signals. Nicki Minaj sends stuff. But the thing I hate about it the most is that, sir, you you shouldn't be talking about nothing. Literally. Yourself to be in the background just listening, you know, be a little bitch about it and just listen and, and mind your goddamn business. And there was a video that show Offset was in the plane, my, you know, whatever it is, you know. Like, sir, you are a person who in records, literally, an offender on this damn online. You have the audacity, Kenneth Petty, to open your mouth, to say anything. And then your wife is indulging that with the threats and everything. 
And there was a lot of things I was going backstage about the interview award. It was something about her husband, you know, they, they took him out. They were taking photo, whatever it was. But, like, come on. No one is innocent in this. A lot of people feel like, oh, you know, this and that. You know, stay, your husband needs to stay out of woman's business. You know, this, this, this and that. They bought Nick and Nash. Everybody was saying businesses, not everybody. And that damn fucking MTV award. That's why his your husband had to leave, ma'am. He's insane. So I can understand why people was very afraid of Nicki Minaj being the host. They were very afraid. That's why she had to say, oh, you know who's not gonna do this? The Romans. Ma'am, it was you. Let's let's let's, let's stop hiding our capes. And all bullshit. And this, this, and that. I love Nicki Minaj. She's very talented. Yeah, but let's not sugarcoat bullshit now. It was you. That's why they were afraid. Your husband is there. There's people there you don't fuck with. You got the apps you don't fuck with. There's the other apps. Megan and Sean is there. There's people, two people you definitely don't big fuck with. So, you damn right. They were very speculant of you going on stage and speak about it. To speak. Who the fuck know? Especially with that Molly situation, like I said in the the first one. Especially that Molly Cyrus incident. You damn right there was spectacle if you're gonna be on stage and talk about it. And you saw I Spice went in the damn corner when you were about to say, you know, you know, you know who is not gonna calm down this and that. I Spice look at you like, girl, you better not start shit, man, not start nothing. Like, girl, you damn right be spectacle. If I, you were my host, I would be very afraid to make you go up there and make, my, make me look bad. And start all these dramas. And I understand. I'm not going to sit here and be like, I'll say it's innocent. He's not innocent in this situation. And I can definitely 100% sure that Offset did say something and DM them and say something to one of these people in that, you know, in the group. I believe that because Offset have numerous of time doing shit like that and texting people, you know, and when they were met up and stuff like that, he will, uh, then he want to hide this and act like a little bitch and then nothing happened. Like, come on. Offset have reputation of doing shit like that. He's not innocent. Then he going to get off the plane like, hey, you know, fuck what you did because y'all broke. He, I understand. He is broke. He is, your man is broke. He ain't nothing going on with himself. But I feel like officers should really watch out who he's speaking with. Because some of these groups that I have heard of, they said that one of them do have record. They have bodies. They literally have bodies on themselves. So I perhaps that, you know, especially what happened to your, you know, your brothers and stuff that happened, rest in peace to him. Let's just hope that doesn't happen to you. You have to be very careful. Because there's people in that group that I just seen. They read, they're in the, you know, where you was at at the hotel. They don't have nothing there. They, trust me. They don't care. They have nothing to lose. Trust me. They'll, they don't care. There's people who don't give a fuck. They will lose everything. So you have to be very careful who you are playing with. You're an amazing person. You're an icon. Your woman is an icon right now. Not icon. I don't want to say an icon. But she's almost in the level of there. She's a big star. So you guys really need to be careful how you move. Your brother got, you know, killed in a situation. Because people, you know, throwing shit at people. You do this, you do that, you do this, you do that. And look, in the end of it, he ended up getting shot. Rest in peace to his soul. So you do have to be careful of that. And the way that they're talking, they don't give a F. They will really rank your shit right now. So Offset, be very careful how you doing stuff. And that goes for every anybody, regular people, whoever you are. Be very careful how you move around these streets. Literally. Because there's people who got nothing to lose. They will really take your life. Don't care going back to prison. So be very, very, very careful. They have nothing to lose. They will really do it. There's people in that group literally have records, bodies. They went to prison, did time. Literally. 
and I can understand the comment when they were saying the comment like y'all in y'all y'all in y'all y'all big age forties and stuff like that. And I do understand in a really big age that y'all on y'all still doing that stuff. I understand, but there's people that grown to these things, raising these things. Their mindset are like children in these things. They're not fully developing these things. So you damn right they're gonna look like childish in that damn you know in that, in that damn photo, you know. They were not raised. They didn't have no morals or respect or nothing. Look, of course, that goes for anybody. And I agree with some people in the comments said, like, yo, you're a grown ass man. Like, stop being a thing about it. But let's be honest. Offset did text him allegedly. Like, you can tell, like, they texted him and they had to say something back. And I, because of the, the reason that Offset, I feel like Offset texted him because what one of these guys were, you know, they were texting. You know, Cardi B and stuff like that. There ain't her stuff like that. So, Offset has to come on, you know, on their asses and be like, yo, this, this, and that. So, y'all do have to, you know, watch out for these things. Because I think that they will have not speak about it if, you know, um, Offset didn't, you know, have DM them or say anything about it anyway. That's why they had did that. Especially for Kenneth Petty, I'll perhaps this man to sit his ass down. Literally. You really got stuff to lose, sir. You got nothing, but you really got stuff to lose. To prison, jail. So I'll perhaps that you really pipe down and sit the fuck down and eat your food, your civil spoon that your wife is feeding you, and relax in that damn chair and mind your business. Literally. Chill out. With all that. Cause let your people let whatever your little ignorant people do it. They have stuff to lose. Literally, you got a lot of stuff to lose. A lot. Your woman, who's literally an icon, your kids, and going back to prison. I don't think you want another record on your name right now, sir. You need to pipe down. You're acting like childish. Especially for uh Cardi B and Nicki Minaj showing signal at each other. Saying slick shit about each other. And the thing I really hate about it, they never, how can I say it, at anybody. They're just, you know, just sending mixed signals and stuff like that. But we already know what the fuck they talking about. Talk about each other. Calling her, you know, bringing the picture of Michael Jackson, you know, you know about Offset. You know, um, you know, putting the Michael Jackson tattoo on, and then you know, Cardi B spoke about it and said that every time they doing it, he felt like you know the tattoo of uh, Michael Jackson was looking at her. You know, that's why she posts that stuff. And then Cardi B Jack bag, and then she talked about one of these little characters I never know about. I'm gonna show you on the screen. You know, um, that her husband. You know, what she described. You know, what this character has been going through. Describe her just as that character. You know. They were throwing shots at each other. Throwing shots. Throwing bullseyes at each other. But never at each other. You're not a real gangster about this. No. I hate people who like to hide their hands and not real boss about it by adding people. No, I lack of respect about people when you act that person. You know, I'm not going to lie with you. We like we live for the drama. I'm not going to lie with you. I live for the drama. I sit back, enjoy my tea, and enjoy this show that was going on here. Because you know why I enjoy this girl? It's helping me with my YouTube video to commentary and give my opinion about this situation. But you damn right. You damn right I'm going to sit my teen and enjoy this show and watch how this thing unfolding. Because a lot of people and there's some things that's in that damn, you know, tea. And they're putting themselves in. And they don't know if they're going to get themselves, you know, next day gone. So, I perhaps that y'all chill out. And chill out about that stuff. We know these people on the game. We know both of them are in some stuff. Like, come on now. So that's why they were speculant about why Nicki Minaj was supposed to, you know, they were very speculative why Nicki Minaj was supposed to host this year. But we only see her of this woman about one or twice. Trust me and believe that's only the time we see her, just very little. And that was it. She had to get out the stage. Mm. But I did like the MTV award. Uh, it was nice. Uh, there were some outfits that needed to be checked. 
but some of the outfit that I saw was very good. The performance was okay. I did like the performance, the bang, especially Cardi B bango performance it was good i liked it it was given the visual summer breeze and stuff like that and i do agree with some people that did say that the song was released in the most wrong way and i do understand that because that song was supposed to release in the summer and it's very appropriate for that summer and stuff like that because it looked like a summer video and we're not in summer so it will make sense if that video was made in summer it will be more, more like more realistic, you know, understanding, but it's not a summer song. So why even post that? But it is what it is. The video was a good. I did like the visual. The performance was amazing. You know, I like the way that Cardi B, especially Megan, when they're together, they like swap each other energy. They get each other, you know, they get each other hype and everything like that. I did like the way they all like their chemistry. It was very amazing that I saw the MTV Award. I really, really did like it. It was very beautiful. And it was well put together. And you can tell they worked for their ass off to get this performed where they wanted to be. I really, really did like that. And Nicki Minaj performance was really good. I liked it her pink outfit oh my god it was very given I loved it that outfit it was very beautiful it fitted her very well and I liked it when she walked on the stage I was breathtaking by her looks and how she looked especially when she was performing you know her song her new song you know um I forgot the song name but the new song she was singing so I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see without the song I'm talking about so you guys can go over there and you know or go over there and pull, support her and get her to number one whatever it is so I did like that outfit especially the black one it was very beautiful she was giving that that old you know old Nicki Minaj vibe she was giving that especially she was singing her own her old song you know that was very amazing she had to bring out you know little Wayne out there that was iconic for her to do that it was very amazing so I did like that you know everything was very perfect and that song honey you know about that song you damn right she was talking that ish about that song baby you go Nikki you know I like that you know she was bringing like yeah like like for real like I like the song she was singing like you know y'all bitches you know y'all bitches want to be me like come on now like who who who's she not talking about she's talking about all y'all Make, you know, all y'all new artists, rappers, whatever that is. Y'all wanna be Nikki. You know, she had to let y'all, you know, y'all hold straight. Like, hey, y'all little minion wanna be me. You know, give me my props. You know, really, you wanna be me. You wanna hide your hands. Like, come on. And she's right. Like, she opened gates for y'all little, you know, for y'all girls to act the way that y'all walk. You know, especially, you know, Ellie Kim. Kim is the first. You know, Kim run for y'all. For Nicki Minaj can can walk. So and so Nicki Minaj can do the other half and for y'all rest of y'all little, you know, minion can walk as well. So she pays the way for y'all people that don't know how to sing at all. Not, not at all. And give y'all chances. Open the door for you. Act like you know y'all singing some which I really ain't. So she opened doors for you guys. So you damn right. And I like the song. She was showing shout out y'all new artists. That was for you guys. Shit, I liked it. I liked it. That that was some that was some badass song. I like that song. That that really that really some people did not like it, but I really did like that song. I like this one. That she went off on that one. I liked the way she did it. That, that's how I want artists to sing. You know, speak your shit. Like don't hide shit. You know, I like when artists like they they write, they they spit their shit, talk, talk your shit. Like I you wanna be me so bad. That's what I like. What? I like that. 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 I like this one. This was my best performance of Nicki Minaj. I love this one. This one, she ate on this one. So, that's all I have to say about this today. <laughs> so, I hope you guys are enjoying your day and having a good time. Um, I have to give my little commentary. But please, you guys, I would really appreciate it if you comment on my video. Some of you are watching my video but not commenting or liking my video. So, if you watching my shit, you know, a real good supporter of maybe got some tea, I would appreciate it. If you support me as a person and be, you know what, let me support my sis and good key, hit this like button and comment on her video or give a little heart, give your little opinion. But I really appreciate if you just give your opinion and thought because I want to see who's a real supporter and stuff like this. So whoever comment on my video, I will give you a shout out on my, you know, you, um, Instagram to say thank you to all supporting me and this, this and that. I really, really appreciate it if you guys really are so far because I know I watch my views. 
that's P. I post it on Instagram and then I go back and it's the same number, but y'all people are not liking it or com or commenting. So I really appreciate it as a supporter of Melly Got Some Tea. If you're a real supporter, you know, you've been sipping on some tea that I've been got going on, in my opinion. Even though some of my shit I'll be talking about, I'll be studying some of my sentences. But I'm working on it. You see me working on it days and days and days and days and days. Pass by, pass by. I'm working on my speech impediments. So I'm getting a little bit much better on that. So I feel like, you know, as a person who is an upcoming YouTuber, I feel like, yes, I do want, I do, I do have a right to ask you guys that. I would love for you guys to literally comment on my video and like my video. Give me guys your point of view and your opinion. I want to see who's really merely got some tea supporter. I want to see my supporter who really fuck with me. Because trust me and believe me and believe me in the future. When I get up in, when I become big one day. I don't know when it is going to be. You know, I become big one day. I will want to come back to the some people who was the first who was to always comment on my video and supporting me. I want to give you guys a shout out and say thank you for everything. You don't know what's going to be good enough for me in this future. So you damn right. I would love a little, you know, you know, a little uh, chemistry and be like, yeah, hey, you know, let me write. Let me look. Let me type a little something on her channel and say, you know, I like the video. This isn't that or have my opinion. I might not like this one. You know, this and that. I would love. You agree or disagree with me. I would love somebody who communicate my video because if you communicate, it makes me go harder and tougher at the same time. So, yes, I would definitely appreciate you guys. Go on my YouTube and I'm about to post this video. When I post this video, you comment. You watch the whole video and you guys give your opinion. You know, I'm a first upcoming broadcaster. You know, I am doing my best and... And I have every right to ask you guys, you know, what I want for my YouTube channel. People will subscribe to me. Just like, you know, whatever you got going on with your business. You have a right to ask that, you know. You know, uh, but it's not your right to, you know, if you want to or not. You know, I'm not, I'm not forcing you to do something you don't want to do, you know. But I only speak to people like, you know, that's my, that's my, you know, YouTube. So, I would love a little, you know, uh, 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 motivation you know, a little, you know, support for my channel, you know, to give it to me. So I have the right to ask that and what I want in my channel. So it goes for everybody. Any business that you're going to, you have the right to ask for that. You have the right to want that. You have the right to, you know, tell your fan what you want. I want this one. I want to see people watching my video and supporting me just like y'all doing that. So please, I really appreciated it if you guys literally like and comment. You hear me? I want you guys to comment on my video if you're a real supporter. Because trust me and believe me, when I be on my top shit, then y'all people gonna be like, Oh, I used to watch your video. Well, how the fuck do I know you watch my video? Because you never comment. You never say shit. So I would really appreciate it if you guys really support me and got some tea and comment on my video if you really fuck with me. That's one different about it. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. I don't know why I'm going to be big on it, but I promise and believe you. I'm going to speak of word of power. I'm going to become somebody one day. I'm going to become rich one day. I will have my own restaurant one day. I will be on movies one day. I will be I will be on stage one day singing whatever song I want to sing one day. And trust me and believe me, you'll not know where I'm going to be one day. And one day when you, in your own business, because you're supporting me, you are the first supporting me, you always coming on my video, always showing and posting my video, and be a, a, it's always supporting Support me on my lowest low so you damn right when i become big one day i'm gonna think to you i'm gonna be hey come to this girl video come to this girl business she was amazing she was my biggest supporter so yes i want that bad because you don't know when that person is going to be one day when they're gonna need that stuff back you do not know you will never know so i'm gonna i'm gonna speak that to existence i will be big one day and rich one day so i definitely want people to comment and share my video you damn right because you're not know what a person can be one day so, yeah, I just want to put that sense out there to what I want in my video. Uh, people who fuck with me and I've been posting it on Instagram, on my story, uh, uh, Instagram, my story. You damn right. I see y'all watching my video, but never, never in your life liked it, it or even commented. So I really appreciate if you watching my video, you fuck with me. I really appreciate if you like my video and comment. That's on respect, not disrespect. You get what I'm saying? I put my hard work on it. Yes, I do need to be consistent as the time I need to do. But that's why I have a manager that's on my ass that I have to continue keep on fucking 
continue putting out content and give my opinion. Yes, I will be struggling to sell the thing that I want to say, but you understand where I'm coming from. That's the that's the that's the that's the thing you need to worry about. Period. Anything else? That's it. I just want to say, you guys, thank you for supporting me and always supporting me and always continue always watching my video. And thank you guys for everything you have done for me. I hope you guys have an amazing day. You have an amazing with your family. Be safe out there. You know, um, enjoy this amazing day. People who are in school, be safe. Go to school safe. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, pray before you go to school. You know, there's a lot of things going on. We the, you know, the evil, the, de the, you know, the, uh, the devil, always working. So, you know, always keep God by your side, no matter what, I don't know what faith that you guys are believing to, you know, whatever you guys believe in to, Allah, whatever it is, you know, the Hades, whatever it is, make sure you have stuff to protect you. So, guys, go out there, be safe, in woman, whatever you're going to work, that goes for you as well, because you don't know what's happening in your job. Always pray before you go leave your house. You know, always have that little spiritual, whatever. I'm a Christian woman. I believe in God, Jesus Christ. So, yes, I'm always have God by my back to always protect me. That's go for every single person, whatever your religion is, is. So, I just want to say you guys that. And you guys have an amazing day. And mainly got some tea is what? Out!